Welcome to TapTap, and let's learn the basics of sacred geometry. Click the learn button. Tap to zero, initial darkness. Isn't sacred geometry the thing they were talking about in, uh, in, uh, oh, hello. Um, Monument Valley. This game is in Unreal Engine 4, so it's automatically good. Because the engine is the only thing that matters, not the game. And uh, games that are not Unreal Engine 4 are bad. And anything recreated in Unreal Engine 4 is automatically better. So this is already a good game. I don't even know why I'm bothering to play it. It's just that good. Scroll the mouse wheel. Okay. But why? If, if, if it is required. But, but, but what requires it? Read text describing phenomena. Look and listen. Step on trigger to go to the next cutscene. Okay. Let's see, we've got some we got some pixels. Unreal Engine 4 is all about the pixels. Escape, okay. So this is like a demo sort of thing. I still don't understand what the mouse wheel is doing. Why why are these so blurry? Tell me your secrets. Oh no! Holy light. Point lights work much like a real light bulb, emitting light in all directions from the like I believe it's okay. We're learning about like, are these like Unreal Engine, like, markers? Like, is this just explaining how the game was made? Oh! Oh! Oh, you gotta loop up the, uh... Alright. The light. You gotta raise the light all the way up. Maybe. Is there no sound? There's like... Boops. There's a cube. Hello, cube. Show me the f way to freedom. Okay, chapter two, form. WASD, my favorite keys. Got some little bits and bits up in this cube sphere here. Uh-oh. What is, what am I doing? I'm affecting the world with my mouse wheel, but I do not know in what, in what manner or towards what end. Oh, it kind of goes between, like, all broken and crappy, and, like, shploop. Procedural mesh is a component that allows you to specify custom triangle mesh geometry. So we're learning about Unreal Engine 4 in an Unreal Engine 4 game. Huzzah. So is this just... Is this... I did not... I, I saw some images of this, and it looked neat, and I, I have no idea if this is, like... Oh, hello. So... That's that's normal. That's fine. Um, whoop! Ah, oh, here's the good stuff. Here is the good that good excrement. That there we go. It's not sciency until there's green. You gotta have. If you want to be computers, you have to have the green. That good old space green. That nuclear laser green. What? I can't tell what mouse wheel is doing. Scale. Oh, I've got VR. Rotation. Okay. Manipulating actors affects the process of moving, rotating, scanning. See, I have a fun mouse where you can unlock the scrolling. And usually in video games you want you want it locked in so it just does a little bit at a time. But in this game it's kind of fun to be like, woo! Um. Am I supposed to be raising the scale, or what's what's the deal here? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Oh, am I supposed to click? Transition. Uh, transition me to the next chapter. I mean, I see that thing over there. Or was I supposed to do this the opposite way? Oh, oh, I'm s I didn't know that the exit was going farther away from me, and I was just like... Let's scroll the mouse. Both actors that are to, to execute the event have generate overlap events set to true. Oscillation. So we're learning a lot about action, actor begin overlap. Our, our actors have overlapped. Let me, allow me to overlap my actor with you. Yes. Wait, what's this, what is this? This is the like speed. Whoa! What, what happened? I'm like in the floor now. What? what? I have to be getting overlap.
It's like breathing. This place is creepy, oddly creepy. Why does the speed booster like reset my position in the danger pill? Are we like warping? I think I'm like warping up between other pills. Like the pill I was just in like sploops down. I have I have no idea what is happening. I think I'm supposed to go over to this. I think I fit, I think I won while I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Divine Woo! Now that's what I'm talking about. Rest in peace, bitrate. You can use traces or raycast to shoot out an invisible ray, which will detect geometry between two points. Return what was hit. So you may do something with it. I'm gonna trace these rays. Who wants their rays traced? Woo! I think I I think I'm falling. Oh. I think you're supposed to like weasel your way through the things? Maybe? It's like a lesson in, in Unreal Engine 4 turn. Well, I mean, game, you know, engine terms in general, but all stuff UE4 obviously does. I was wondering, I was kind of wondering why, why the game made such a point to be like, Unreal Engine 4. Oh, whoa. Look at that. It lo this lo looks like a futuristic, like, con condo block. I like it. I like it. Human condos. I like it. So I've been watching Rick and Morty, season three. It's really good. It's best season ever so far, actually. Uh, going some really interesting directions. Classic of changes. Back, forward, click. <laughs> Bully and true. This is cute. So this is cute. It's like a. It's like a way of showing you things. Um, but it's like really creative and the visuals I I played for the wacky visuals honestly that's I'll go for anything integer there you go you're learning kids integers are numbers that go up by one five five is an integer uh, do I scroll but what oh float so floats are fun uh, floats Floats are terrifying because, well, floats don't go to zero that easily. They're not, not that cleanly, I mean. Floats are fun because it's basically impossible to get exactly zero because of uh, something that's too complicated to explain during a type something. I can't type things. Oh, bees. I'm going to type bees. Backsp backspace bees. Oh, I, I, I didn't do the Dr. Bees. There. It's, it's teaching all the different variables types. Um, mouse wheel down. Um, I was saying something about floats. Oh yeah, but floats are fun. Uh, because floats kind of approach zero, more so than they equal zero. So, um, yeah, floats, you, you want to round floats, basically. Because otherwise you get some really unpleasant stuff. Okay, vector, yeah, vectors are like position in potentially 3d space you can also have 2d vectors flash is 2d vectors to be continued plus escape to quit enter to open the game's web page well i'll you probably won't be able to see it but okay a game's web page you know what let me go here okay basics of sacred geometry is a game by interactive 3d objects in unreal engine 4 made using engine content engine tools only oh to have no 3Ls, no textures, and there's no way to work with other software. Main idea for the project is to make a kind of introduction to interactive 3D graphics for beginner. But it is an interactive tutorial. <laughs> that's, that's a really cute way to do things. I guess I probably should have read that um, <laughs> before playing. <laughs> but I think it was really interesting to uh, to peek through. So I assume this is going to be kind of expanded up to 20 chapters in a large sandbox level. That's interesting. See, so yeah, it's like a learn how you do things in Unreal 4 thing, made in Unreal Engine 4, which obviously makes it superior. What if they could make Unreal Engine 4 remade in Unreal Engine 4? Exactly, Parker. It would be glorious. I guess in a way that's kind of what this game is, so best game 10 out of 10, IGN. <laughs> but no, that, that, that was neat. I uh, That's an interesting way to do things. Mew. I'll be interested to see what the full thing is like. I was mean to mess around with a little bit of Unreal Engine 4. Um, more of a web developer person, kind of full stack web dev stuff. Um, but, you know, game dev is like, you know, I have so many hobbies already, and game dev is like 
already all encompassing so i don't think i'd have time for that but uh much respect to those who do isn't that right parker indeed so see you everybody